I'm standing outside the Performing Arts Center of the Valencia campus where the adjunct professors are on strike due to a failed 6 a.m. contract negotiation. Now it leaves the question for the teachers and the students about their future. As cars roll out from the fog, you may hear this. That beep represents the residents supporting the adjunct professors at College of the Canyons, fighting for a fair pay wage, and their signs speak louder than words. It all started just a year ago, coming out of the pandemic. Um, it, for the 2021 uh, contracts, we were the only employees, adjuncts, who got um, not only did not get a raise, but we actually got a pay cut. And it was not even a pay cut that we agreed to. The, we, we agreed to a pay raise, but the administration conveniently reinterpreted the contract to mean a pay cut. And about uh, half the adjuncts lost money as a result, while the full-time faculty got a raise that added up to about $200,000. And we got nothing and a cut on top of that. For about a year into negotiations, College of the Canyons and the adjuncts came to an impasse when a third party inputted a new ruling into factor. Uh, those negotiations uh, went on for over a year and uh, an agreement was not reached. Um, there was a uh, third party um, uh, fact finding panel uh, that made a ruling and uh, the fact finding panel recommended that the part time faculty uh, not receive a salary increase for the 2021 academic year. With nothing to give in 2020, even with the salaries being increased in 2021, for these professors, this still wasn't enough. So back in November, uh, the board approved moving forward uh, with that recommendation. And then they, um, they also provided a 5.26% salary increase for the 21-22 academic year. And we're, we're looking forward to starting negotiations on 22-23, uh, but we haven't heard from the union yet about that. We've reached out to them, but, but they have not responded yet. For these professors, the fight isn't over. These signs will continue to be their voice until the settlement has been reached. I think they're pushing full-time to do a lot of the work, and the full-time aren't that happy about that either, because um, they have to go into our canvas shells. They have to understand what we're teaching and what we're doing, so I think it's going to be a challenge. And hopefully it's a big enough challenge that it gets them to see our value promised to come back with better figures and then every time they do it with zero, 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 and then it's just, they, they, they're good at delay tactics, they drag things out, and then until thinking they're just, they're just going to win by attrition, wear us out, and we're just going to give up. And so that's that's pretty much why we're not willing to give up. We want a better, a better deal, but um, they, they don't understand how much we want it. So this isn't finally our time to show it. With negotiations still up in the air, it raises the questions of when they're going to settle. It could be hours, days, weeks, or even months until they reach a deal. Reporting from outside the pack, I'm Kyle Kawamoto.